This is an HP News Network special report. Okay, YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, this is your host, Patrick Penry, and welcome to another special report. And what I want to read to you is a series of back and forths between JAXCO and some other NRC officials in regards to this whole Unit 4 situation. And to give you a brief bit of context, what happened was at some point JAXCO stood before Congress or some members of Congress and stated that Unit 4 pool was dry. Now this had ramifications back in Japan with the Japanese government and I found a series of emails where they're talking about this video where TEPCO says no come look at our video there's there is water in the pool and when they when they discuss that video and the integrity of that video it's kind of a joke it's as if TEPCO's trying to convince them by some you know vague hard to see video that there is water in the pool and so later maybe this is recanted and he says that there's water in the pool I have evidence from late March where a guy says Jax goes now saying there's water is in the pool and he says our information says otherwise what's the story so let me give you this kind of um, back and forth here and keep in mind Jax goes made that statement to Congress and that back for sure in Japan has had just rocked the you know whole government and and public that's allowed to hear this or hears of this and that that's major they want to cover that up they want him to withdraw that statement they want to convince people there is still water in the pool because the alternative is the reality of a dry pool the zerk fire and the incredible amount of curies that will be released directly to the atmosphere now let me just read you from this back and forth this is from march 16th from a teleconference call and we'll start with john moniger we wanted to give you guys a heads up. No action, but a heads up. Chuck and Tony now are down at the Conti, which is the equivalent over here of the White House Situation Room. They asked them to come down such that they could show us a video of the Unit 4 spent fuel pool. And what they are going to show us, we believe, is that the spent fuel pool has water, has had water, potentially the entire time. We think the reason they're doing that is because I guess of maybe statements the NRC has made or maybe the chairman's hearing testimony yesterday saying that the unit for the spent fuel pool was dry so Chuck hasn't seen the video yet but he wanted to give you guys a heads up in case there is any clarifications or corrections we need to do did that make sense male participant redacted moniker right right Okay, so they're discussing this video that TEPCO and the Japanese say, hey, this video shows there's water in the pool. NRC, Jax goes, already made the statement that there's no water in the pool. Casto, the chairman, you know, we need to probably let Bill and the chairman know that on yesterday we were going by what we thought that with the explosion there was structural damage to the unit for spent fuel pool. We don't really know if there's any integrity in that pool or not. The video doesn't really show if there's integrity. There's some what they claim is reflection, but we can't tell. We knew there is some water in there as of 5 o'clock yesterday because it's steaming. So I think the right call is still on Unit 4, and Unit 3 is steaming even worse. I think redacted, redacted. Some of this, folks, I this is one long teleconference but in the sections that weren't related to this video in unit 4 I left those out so I may uh, skip from time to time but I'm just sticking to the relevant sections on unit 4 and that video and the and the context of that male participant you don't have a copy of that video do you Chuck Casto they claim that it's a special video file that takes a special video player and all this stuff software and the files too large to give us imagine that male participant yes Casto look they're not going to let us have that video you know the next thing you know that thing gets out you know they're not interested in sharing that thing with us right now male participant no no I was just asking to complete Casto yes I mean that was a good question we asked that and it was asked in the meeting and they said no so we do what we can do they said hey if you look redacted right name redacted yes 
Okay, so you see right there, this is a really good one. They claim they have a video that shows water in the pool. When NRC views it, they're like, nah, it doesn't look like that to us. And then when they say, well, can we have a copy of the video? You know, we want to analyze and look at it. They have this bogus excuse, uh, making all these excuses why they can't give you that video. The file's too large to give us, the software this takes a special video player, blah, 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 so on and so forth. The NRC knows better than that. Chuck Casta, redacted, is from DOE, redacted, redacted, redacted. He was standing there with me and he looked at it. What's your assessment of it? Name redacted. I mean, it's just a split second shot as the helicopter flying by. They're referring to this video. The TEPCO says we got a helicopter flyover. You can see the video. There's water in the pool. He says, I mean, it's just a split second shot as a helicopter's flying by. <laughs> Castro, yes. Name redacted. I'm not the expert on the facility design that the NRC folks are here, but I couldn't tell a thing. Bill. Do we know it's the Unit 4 spent fuel pool? Are we certain that that's the case? Okay, now he's even questioning. Are they even showing us the Unit 4 spent fuel pool? And you know, when I talk to people about YouTube videos that allegedly show spent fuel pool intact and the rods in there, I look at them and say, there's no proof that's Unit 4. That could be 5 or 6 or on down the coast at another facility. You don't know what spent fuel pool they're showing you that they claim they allege to be Unit 4. And if the worst of the worst happened, what do you expect them to do? Be 100% upfront and honest with us about, about what really went down? Come on, let's be realistic. Casto, well, that's a good question, Bill, because the guy that was showing us the video from Conti from the government said, quote, TEPCO told us this is where the spent fuel pool is, end quote. So we don't even know that that's the damn spent fuel pool that we was looking at. Jaxco, Chuck, Chuck, Casto, all we can tell is some feet away, some feet away, there was steam coming out of the building. And they said, quote, well, yeah, that's not right where we think the spent fuel pool is, but the wind's blowing really hard today, and the wind's blowing the steam away from the spent fuel pool, end quote. Right here in this little section, I mean, again, he's asking a logical question. Is that even the spent fuel pool? How do we know that's the one, you know? And they, NRC knows they're, that TEPCO's trying to cover it up. They know they're trying to cover it up. Chairman Jacks go, Chuck, Casto, so we really don't know what the hell we looked at. Male participant, Chuck, I think the chairman's trying to join the bridge. Jacks go, Chuck, Casto, you've got, Jacks go, Chuck, Casto, a building that's had an explosion and has debris everywhere, and you're trying to look at it with a helicopter that's flying by in split seconds. You can't tell anything in there. You know, they claim there's a glimmer of a reflection, but you know, it's steaming. Unit 3 is steaming even harder. And there's another... Uh, document, I think the 507 page document on the children's doses to California, and where they talk about this glimmer of water in the pool and saying that best that's all it is is just, you know, across the bottom, maybe if even that. So here's lots of evidence that in Casto, you can see he's pretty worked up about it. He knows what's going on. He knows they're trying to cover it up. That helicopter flyover is just split seconds. You quote, you can't tell anything in there, end quote. That's Casto referring to that video flyover. They won't let him have a copy of the video. I mean, it's so obvious, isn't it? Oh, Jacks go, Chuck, Casto, there are methods that, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> he's kind of like me when we get a little bit worked up over this when people are lying to us. Jacks go, Chuck, again, just can you tell me the source of your belief that there is no water in the number four fuel pool? Casta, well, that's what we were just talking about. Yesterday, they showed us snapshots, and it looked like to our team members that there was not a structural integrity in the spent fuel pool for number four, unit four. Jacks go, and again, they are the, Castro, I'm sorry, Tepco and Conti. The Japanese government showed us snapshots, and it looked, after the explosion, and it looked like the pool had lost structural integrity of the snapshots. Those were outer walls of the building. Today they're saying, well, the pool doesn't have an outer wall. It's not associated with the outer wall, so they could still be intact. However, they flew a helicopter by the four units, and it's really inconclusive as you look at the video, which they showed us, but won't share it with us for whatever reasons. And they say, quote, look, there it looks like a reflection in there, end quote. And we said, quote, well, is that the spent fuel pool, end quote. <laughs> and the guy says, quote, we're, that's where they tell us the spent fuel pool is, and we think that's a water reflection, end quote. Off to the side, about 15 or 20 feet, I would guess, is steam coming out of the building. 
So you would assume that that's a spent fuel pool with some amount of water in it left in it. But that was 14 hours ago. Jacks go, mm-hmm. So do you have any change in your view of the condition of the pool, of water in the pool? Casto, I would say with steam, there is some water in the pool. It may not be empty. There's some water in the pool, but that was 14 hours ago. Chairman Jacks go, okay. Casto, so we don't know. You know, there was some amount of water in it, but we don't know how much water is in it because it's steaming. But 14 hours ago, today we can't tell you how much water is in that pool. Chairman Jacks go, so do you think there's water in the pool right now? This is another, this is further down in the conversation. They're revisiting to it. Uh, Casto, that's what I was asking the reactor safety team. Tell me how long it would take to steam down the pool, you know, but there's a lot you don't know. You don't know the steaming rate, how much water is in there. There's a lot. You know, you could assume that, let's say, it's at the top of the fuel. How long would it take to steam down to the bottom of the fuel? And how many hours do you have there? Their recovery methods are to try, again, which they've, I think, failed once, to drop water from a helicopter. The other is that they're trying to clear the road so that they can bring in some crowd control tanks, you know, like you see in a riot, those crowd controls. In our opinion, those are the highly inefficient methods of trying to get water in a spent fuel pool, especially, especially in a building that's had an explosion and has damage everywhere. And we are not even sure that the pump has enough head to pump up to the top of that building. So, you know, that's a good try. You should do it, maybe, but not an effective or a long-term solution. Jacks go. So at this point, you no longer believe that the pool is dry? Is that what I'm hearing? Casto. I would say, as of 5 o'clock yesterday, the pool had some water in it. Jacks go. Okay, now I've said publicly the pool is dry. Okay, now Jacks goes beginning to sweat that he's stated it's dry. And, and But we, what you need to understand here is there's kickback. There's blowback from that statement. And the Japanese government, TEPCO, all these guys are pushing hard to try to convince them he's wrong and to recant that statement, okay? That doesn't mean the pool didn't run dry and the worst of the worst didn't happen. What it means is there's blowback and kickback to retract that. You shouldn't have said that. You went too far. You let out too much info. And that's the problem right there. Castro, yes, I know that. Jacksco, do you think that that's inaccurate? Castro, we can, it's so inconclusive, we really can't tell either way. I mean, Jacks go, well, so it's inaccurate for me to say it's dry? Is that what you're saying? It's okay if that's the case, just tell me. Casto, I would say it's probably inaccurate to say it's dry. Jacks go, okay. Casto, it appears today with a video that they had some water in it at 5 o'clock yesterday or it wouldn't be steaming. Okay, 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 Jacks go says. Okay, so that's according to the video, it's steaming. They must have had some water in it. Again, that video has been contested, though. Remember that. And very highly contested. Very suspect, that video. Jacks go, okay, but we're not necessarily good with a statement that the pool is dry. Okay, this is another section in this teleconference relating to it. We've skipped a bit where they went off subject. Now they're back to discussing the pool. Jacks go, okay, but we're not necessarily good with a statement that the pool is dry. Marty Virgilio, well, that's not, you know, our four, four points don't speak to the pool being dry. Jacks go, right, right. No, I know, but they speak to my credibility. That's the problem. Virgilio, yes, but think about where that statement came from. It came from TEPCO to John Moniger today, yesterday. Jacks go, okay, that's the source of it. Virgilio, yes. Jacks go, TEPCO said the pool was dry? Virgilio, that's what he told John Moniger yesterday. And they asked John, given a dry pool, what are the four or five things, what things could we do to control the radiation release? Jacks go, okay. Casto, and I don't think that's the only one. I think to Jim Trapp, they told him the same thing. Jacks go, okay. Casto, now today they're saying, quote, well, we were just postulating that it would go dry. Jacks go, okay. Virgilio, I mean, that was pretty clear with Moniger. They had told him it was dry and we needed some actions. What actions would you take if you had lost the integrity of the pool? Jacks go, okay, that's fine, okay. Virgilio, so TEPCO and the government are now changing their position. That's great. Jacks go, yes. <laughs> Folks, this called the cover-up. <laughs> that's how cover-ups work. 
if a little bit of information leaks out at first and gets out, they come back and they clamp down and they re retract and it's harmless levels and there's nothing to worry about. I and mean, this is, to me, I, I, folks, let me tell you something. When I came across this document and started reading, I had my pop bag of popcorn, I had my jug of lemonade. This was better than probably any movie I've ever seen. I was having a, a movie night here almost like watch. It was entertainment. It was great. This is just the most interesting stuff in the world. Okay, back to the document. Jacks go, okay, but we have, so the source of the information about the pool was directly from TEPCO. Question, he's asking. Virgilio, right, to John Moniger. Jacks go, okay, so it was directly from TEPCO to John Moniger. Maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. But what is the likelihood you think that we have a full full pool at this point? Casto, it's highly unlikely with the steam that's boiling off of it. Jacks go, okay, and you have indications of steam? Casto, yes, it's on the redact redacted, the steam. Jacks go, okay. Casto, unit three is steaming more than unit four. Okay, now here's another um, section. We've skipped a bit. They got off topic and they're back to topic here. Elliot, and this is Elliot Brenner. I'm not hearing anything to suggest we should be rolling back tonight, correct? Jacks go, yes, yes, that's correct. Elliot, thank you. Jacks go, anything else you wanted to add? Elliot, no, no. Jacks go, I mean, Chuck, let me ask you that. Do you think I need to roll back any of the statements that I made? Casto, I don't. I don't think so. You know, we've gone over it. It may not have been dry, but it certainly wasn't full. With the steam on it, it's inconclusive of where the water level is on Unit 4. Jaxco, okay. Casto, I think is the best. Jaxco, okay. Casto, or on Unit 3, certainly on Unit 3. Jaxco, okay. Okay, here's another part, page 422, Chuck Castro. And without mitigating actions, without adding water to that spent fuel pool, it's, you know, Jacks go, it will be dry. Castro, you lose water. Jacks go, yes, okay, okay, thanks. Now, I found evidence that it wasn't until the 20th they got seawater into the Unit 4. So it was a number of days they couldn't do anything with it at all. And there's plenty of evidence there's a crack or the wall was blown out and water uh, was lost at a rapid rate. They lost the inventory. And then you had your Zerk fire catastrophe, which I have the screen capture on that little bit of email. So, yeah. Okay, here's another one, not part of that discussion about the video, but I titled it Unit 4 Zerk Water Reaction. Moniger, right, right. Well, the other thing, and we've got to run it down now. Well, we've got to run it down back here, but I believe the status that has been reported for the past, you know, 24 to 48 hours is Unit 1 and 2. The spent fuel pools are boiling. Units three and four, the spent fuel pools are going through Zerk slash water reaction, you know, essentially at the bottom. So I'm not sure where we got that summary for the four units. I know we were under the belief that unit four, the wall had been blown out. But regardless of that, someone else would have had to tell us about units one, two, and three. Okay, and uh, that pretty much sums up this little thing on the video and Jack's go and his statement to Congress and the blowback with Conti and Tepco and and you know like I say this is indicative of a cover-up and that's how it works if information does get out they try to rein it back in they put a drag net out and then they just clamp down on all information and that's why you know you're seeing what you're seeing so many days later after this catastrophe such a lack of real honest to goodness reporting showcasing highlighting connecting the dots and really putting it all together it's just a no one's no one wants to touch it i mean no one wants to touch it because there's a lot of people participating and keeping quiet right okay i just want to give a little bit of credit to jacks go for when he found out the pool was dry he stood up and said that at least in, in the initially before there was a lot of blowback and kickback and ramifications he was trying to within the range he could speak remember he can't just say anything a, a shot would ring out and he'd fall over dead on the ground right or he'd you know hit the back of his neck like a mosquito and the secret service would carry him off and say hey just a heat exhaustion he'll be all right and then you never see from him again so you can't just say anything you want up there but within what he could do he tried it seems at some points to do the right thing and also i've got another one let me see while i'm here uh, this is in my let me go to my Jacks Go Tried. Let me give you just a tad bit more on Jacks Go while we're talking about him trying to do the right thing. This is from the Navy Ships and Radiation uh, folder file that I have. And 
he's talking to the admirals here, Admiral Willard and Jacks go, the discussion's been about Navy ships, plumes, and, you know, the possibility of moving Navy ships. And Jacks go in this particular sentence of his statement of his, he says, this is Greg Jacks go. I just wanted to make one clarification, Admiral Willard. I appreciate your comment that I think there is an important issue to tell from. I also think we also have a responsibility to tell individuals if there are levels that are not at this point viewed to be harmful. Okay, this is amazing. This really is blockbuster. I've kind of been holding on to this one because I need to put this in my book too to show that Jacksco is saying, you know, levels to be viewed harmful. Maybe he doesn't agree with that. And he's kind of saying, look, we need to tell people of any and all levels of radiation, even if we view them to be harmless, we need to tell our sailors, hey, there's some very low levels. We deem them to be harmless, but you have a right to know about even these super ultra low levels that we deem to be harmless. Now, Jacksco, of course, in the back of his mind probably knows, goodness, there, there's no harmless levels out there considering the size and scope of this catastrophe and the amount of plumes and ongoing emanations and source terms. It's incredible. So they know, and he's kind of covering his ass here too and saying the right thing for the record. And fortunately, that wasn't redacted. And we get a little bit of insight. Again, Jacksco trying to do the right thing. He's saying, Willard, you got to tell him about all levels of radiation, even the ones that you guys claim are harmless, right? <laughs> Okay, hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it, folks. Patrick Penry, end of another HP News Network special report. Over and out. This has been an HP News Network special report. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.